The United States midterm elections are less than a month away now, with both the Democrats and Republicans appearing at least to go increasingly animated and outspoken. A recent YouGov poll shows a 6% gap in support between the two parties, with Democrats leading on 47%. Caleb Maupin looks at how campaign protocols being torn up in the current political climate. I may not agree with what you say, but I shall defend to the death your right to say it. Now, that used to be the favorite quotation of Americans, but not anymore. Civility is passe. Just ask Hillary Clinton. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. If we are fortunate enough to win back the House and or the Senate, that's when civility can start again. Remember back when everyone hailed this motto? When they go low, we go high. Well, now Barack Obama's former attorney general has adjusted it just a little. Michelle Wood says that, you know, when they go low, we go high. No, no. When they go low, we kick them. And some sectors of the U.S. public are pretty clearly ready for battle. I was sexually assaulted and nobody believed me. We believe your Racist, racist, racist. No, please, now. Stop, stop, stop. Some Republicans are now warning that the chaos could turn deadly. I fear that there's going to be an assassination. I really worry that somebody is going to be killed and that those who are ratcheting up the conversation, they have to realise they bear some responsibility if this elevates to violence. After the senator's personal information was released online, his family is on edge. You know, I felt incredibly threatened and frightened. Um, I had been frightened when Rand left for D.C. that Monday because, you know, it, the new message is get up in their face, get in people's face. But Republicans are also out for blood. The Democrats have become too extreme, too dangerous to govern. They've gone wacko. You don't hand matches to an arsonist. And you don't give power to an angry left-wing mob, and that's what the Democrats have become. So, civility? Just forget it. It's likely that even after the midterm elections, Americans aren't just going to get over it. Divisions are getting deeper. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York. Well, former U.S. Congressman Ron Paul says that beyond the war of words, Republicans and Democrats agree on much more than they think. The policies are very, very similar, and we who work in the uh, freedom movement, the libertarian movement, have said this, that there's a lot of uh, bipartisanship when it comes to passing legislation, like running up the deficits and <clears throat> getting involved in, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in, in, in foreign wars and being involved like this. It, it, they're very much the same. But I think uh, the disagreement is more of a cultural thing. And uh, uh, the, the difference is um, uh, on, on philosophy is not so much. Uh, and we would like, we as libertarians would like to see the discussion about, you know, like our Federal Reserve System and spending and deficits and personal liberties and civil liberties. But there seems to be too much agreement there. But right now, there's no doubt there's a lot of hostility between the two groups, and they're very, very angry.